Chapter 74, the header. Judges and lawyers will suffer the most when the Lord comes because of the misuse of their power over the lives of others. The righteous should not go to court, but should love all men and let their light shine by their examples. 1. And those who make the laws of Satan and administer these laws unto the children of men shall come forth at the day of the Lord in hopes that they too might receive a justification and a reward for that which they have done during the days of their probation. 2. Then shall the sword of his mouth condemn them above all others who have set themselves up in the glories and honours of men. 3. And these are those who cover their righteousness by the blackness of the robes that they symbolically wear when they administer the laws and justice of Satan unto the children of men. 4. For they do not see that they put on a robe of darkness when they administer justice, as they suppose, to their other brothers and sisters, and take away from them their liberty and their possessions and their lives according to the laws of Satan, whose works they represent in their darkened robes of black. 5. And they shall not see those whom they judge as their brothers and sisters, but they shall condemn them, and think of them as the dross of the earth, because of the wickedness that is in the souls of them who judge, they having been deceived by Satan, because of the power that they have been given by him. 6. For behold, all of the servants of God have worn light colours, or pure white, when available to them according to their tradition and customs, that they might be a witness unto the people of that which the Lord requireth of them. 7. But the judges of the latter days shall put on a cloak of darkness, and sit in judgment upon the lives of those who are weak and poor among them. 8. And with their robes of darkness, they shall think of themselves above all others upon the face of the earth, they alone wielding the power of Satan in his kingdom. 9. And because of their judgments and their ways, even the power given unto them by Satan to take away the free agency of man, which hath been given unto all by the Father, these above all others shall be condemned exceedingly by the Lord. 10. And those who are the lawyers shall also suffer exceedingly, even those who stand before the judges, and who are of the judges, who make their penitence on behalf of those who pay them their wages of sin before the law of the land, which they have convinced the people is a law of righteousness and justice. 11. And these shall claim in that day that the law was necessary that there might be order and peace established and maintained among the people of the earth. 12. And of this principle of order they speak the truth, but in hypocrisy. 13. Yea, the Father abideth by the eternal laws of heaven that have been established for the purpose of creating order and maintaining the peace that existeth in his kingdom among his children. 14. And for this purpose is all law given, that it might protect the rights of one from that which another might do unto him, that taketh away from his free agency. 15. And righteous law is established to protect the rights of all, and to maintain peace and order among the people. 16. But I have said that these lawyers and these judges receive their wages of sin, for that is what they receive by disregarding the law of Christ, which he hath given unto us, that we might have true peace among us. 17. For the law of the latter days shall be set up for those who administer the law, and act under its name to get gain and power over others. 18. And the lawyers shall incite the people to sue one another, and make another an offender for a word, so that the case might be brought before a judge, and argued by a lawyer, who is paid well for his words, which are honoured in a court of law to which both the lawyer and the judge belongeth. 19. And these shall be a secret combination in and of themselves, in that they shall not give honour and respect to a man who representeth himself before a judge, and cometh to defend his cause before the law of the land without paying the wages of sin, according to the requirement of the court. 20. For if all people were allowed to give their case in truth and honesty before a righteous judge, who judges not by that which he seeth, nor by the manner of the case that is brought before him, 
but judgeth a righteous judgment, rendering the same justice to all. 21. Yea, if a man could come before a judge in this manner, then there would be no need for a lawyer, who uses his cunningness and his expertise in the law that was created for him to get gain. 22. And now, if all law was based upon the commandments of God, even the greatest of all commandments, yea, then a man should love his neighbor as himself. And if each judge would render judgment based solely on this great commandment, then the law would be just. 23. But the words of Christ condemneth the laws of men, because he hath given the commandment of the Father, saying, And if any man sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. 24. Now, this is the law of the Father, and it is this law by which the judges and lawyers of the nations shall be judged. 25. For the Lord forbiddeth those who follow him from suing another in a court of law. And if a true follower of Christ is brought before a judge by another to take away any of his earthly possessions, then this humble follower of Christ would not fight the case, but give unto him who hath sued him all that is requested of him. 26. And if the children of men obeyed the law of Christ, then they would surely have peace among them, for there would be no need of lawyers. 27. And if there were honest and righteous judges, then all men would be judged by the words of Christ, which are the laws that the Father hath given unto him to teach unto us. 28. And if we were judged by the laws of the Father, then we would receive a just punishment, if it so be that we disobeyed his laws. 29. But the laws of Satan are not the laws of God, and his laws are set up so that one man might gain power and control over another, and that another might gain money by suing his neighbor for whatever cause, taking that which he envieth of his neighbor. 30. And there shall be no love in the hearts of the children of men in the latter days. For if a man offendeth another, then the man who is offended shall seek out a counsellor of the law of the land that he might sue him who offended, that he might take his money. 31. And in this way there is no peace among the children of men of the latter days, because of the law, and the lawyers, and the judges who are among you. And this is why I have said unto you that lawyers and judges are hypocrites in that which they believe to be their righteous works. 32. And these all shall be condemned exceedingly by the Lord, and suffer the wrath of his indignation, which shall issue forth by the words of his mouth. 33. And all of you who have found cause against your neighbor, who have paid money to a lawyer to represent you against your neighbor in a court of law, do ye think that ye are justified in this thing, and shall remain spotless before the Lord, when ye know that ye have disobeyed his commandments concerning these things? 34. Behold, ye shall also suffer exceedingly, both those of you in the spirit world who shall witness the coming of the Lord from there, and also those of you who are the children of those who taught you, by their example that ye must sue your neighbor and bring a cause of action against him in a court of Satan. 35. And if ye are a true follower of Christ, then ye would not enter into a court supporting the laws of Satan for any reason. Nevertheless, there shall be some of you who are forced into these courts by others. And if ye are forced into these courts by others, do not fight them therein, but give unto them that which they desire of you. 36. And if ye are living by the words of Christ, then ye shall not have that which another would desire to take from you in court. 37. And there shall be some who are forced into court by the laws of Satan, which ye are not abiding by, thinking that ye should not abide by them, because they are contrary to the law of God, by which ye supposedly live. 38. But I say unto you, that if ye live by the law of God, there should be no reason why the courts of men should have reason to carry you forth. For the law of God is righteous, and doeth those things which create peace, and harmony, and love, and happiness upon the earth. 
39. And if ye live your life in bitterness towards your enemies, which ye might perceive are Satan and his followers, then ye are not living by the command of God, but by your own commandment. For the Lord hath commanded you to love your enemies, and do good to those who persecute you, and hate you, and despitefully use you. 40. And this the Father hath commanded you, because ye are all his children. And there is no place for hate and pride and disrespect in his kingdom. 41. And this I say unto you of the latter days who think in, and of yourselves that ye are above the laws of men. Whether they be the laws of Satan or not, it mattereth not. For ye are subjected to these laws until the Lord cometh to set up his laws of righteousness. 42. And he hath commanded you, like he commanded the Jews, to obey these laws, and give unto Caesar that which is of Caesar, and unto God that which is of God. 43. And if ye are keeping the commandments of God in all things, then ye shall have the Spirit of God with you. And the Spirit of God shall teach you to love one another, and to do good to one another, and pray for those who misuse you and abuse you. 44. Do not think that the Lord hath called you out of Babylon, or the world, that ye should isolate yourselves, and disregard the rights of others to obey the laws of Satan, if that is what they choose for themselves. 45. For this is not the will of God, but the subtle deceptions of Satan that he hath used to bind your hearts also, and bring you down into captivity. 46. For if ye are true followers of Christ, then ye would let your light shine unto your brothers and sisters, and love them, and be an example unto them. 47. For even Satan is a son of God, and he is also your brother. Behold, his plan is not such a one that the Father would never allow to be followed. For his plan is good to those who follow after him, and cannot cause any harm to the souls of those who follow the plan of the Father. Except it be that if ye follow the plan of Lucifer, ye cannot inherit a kingdom of the Father. 48. For this reason the Father alloweth the plan of Lucifer to be incorporated into the days of our probation, so that we might see for ourselves which plan bringeth forth happiness, and which plan bringeth forth misery. 49. Therefore, love your neighbor, and do good to those who are following the plan of Lucifer, and creating unhappiness for themselves. Do not condemn them, but love them, for they shall bring upon themselves their own condemnation, according to that which I have told you, even at the time that they shall see the Lord in his glory, and hear the law of the Father from his own mouth. 50. Therefore, if they shall suffer at this time, why should ye, who are their brothers and sisters, heap upon them your own judgment and condemnation? 51. I say this unto those of you who think that ye are following the commandments of God, yet ye judgeth and condemneth your neighbours, because they followeth after Satan in desiring the things of the world. 52. Behold, the words of the Lord shall not directly condemn anyone, but those who hear his word shall condemn themselves. 53. And I have already revealed unto you in this record those things which the Lord shall say in the day of judgment, which shall come at the beginning of the seventh thousand years, which shall mark the end of the half of time, and the beginning of a time of great peace and love among all the children of God upon the earth. 54. For those things are the same words that he hath spoken to all of the children of men since the world began. They are the words of the Father, and the only words that we need to listen to in order to be saved in the kingdom of God. 55. And when the Lord speaketh these words again, all those who have not abided in these words shall condemn themselves, even like unto that which was prophesied by John when he said of those who are the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bond man, and every free man, even those who shall hide themselves in the dens, and the rocks of mountains away from the presence of the Lord. 56. And they shall say to the mountains and rocks, Fall upon us, and hide us from the face of him who sitteth on the throne 
and from the wrath of the Lamb. 57. And these are those of whom I have spoken, and in that day their condemnation shall be their own. 58. But woe unto those who shall condemn them, for ye have sinned also, and shall not be ready to stand blameless before the Lord. 59. And now, for this reason the Lord hath commanded these things to come forth unto you of the latter days, even that ye might know of those things which are to come to pass, and that ye might know of the plan of Lucifer which the majority of you follow in the latter days. 60. Now, the Father doth not condemn you if ye follow the plan of Lucifer, if that is what bringeth happiness to you, but he hath commanded the Lord to give his own plan unto you, so that ye might compare the two, and know of a surety which one truly bringeth the most happiness to you. 61. And this record was prepared as a voice of warning to all of you who shall receive these things, that ye might know of that which shall shortly come to pass among you. 62. For ye of the latter days who shall receive these things, are already in the final half of the half of time of which I have written. 63. And the time is short when the great and dreadful day of the Lord shall come upon all the inhabitants of the earth. 64. And this record is sent forth not to condemn the world for its wickedness, for what good would the condemnation of their wickedness be, if they do not desire to change that which they are experiencing, believing that they are righteous and happy? 65. Behold, for this reason it hath been written that these things shall come unto the elect, who are already written in the book of the Lamb, and who have overcome the world because of the words of Christ, which they understand and follow in all things. 66. And because the power of Satan is great upon the earth, most of the elect, at the time this record shall be revealed to the world, shall be ready for these things, and shall accept them with an open mind and a glad heart. For they shall read of all the works of the children of men that have led up to the end of the world, and the coming of the Son of God to the earth, to prepare this earth for its place in the kingdom of the Father. 67. And those of you who shall receive these things with gladness, are commanded to teach these things unto your children in gladness, and they shall rejoice with you. 68. And when ye are dead, ye shall not suffer for that which ye shall observe that your children of the flesh doeth during the days of their probations. For ye shall know of all things that shall come to pass, and ye shall prepare your children for these things. 69. And now I say unto you who receive these things with gladness, Behold, if ye have received these things with gladness, then in this gladness share these things with the rest of your brothers and sisters who have not received these things. 70. Do not condemn them for their ignorance and their captivity in the chains of Satan, but let the word of God condemn them. 71. But ye are commanded to rejoice in that which hath been revealed unto you. And if ye rejoice in that which hath been revealed unto you, then it might be the cause of your neighbor wondering the reason of your rejoicing. 72. And if your neighbor wondereth of the cause of your great joy, then he might, for the first time during the days of his probation, open up his mind to the things that he hath never heard, nor hath he ever considered. 73. For there are those who profess to be the followers of Christ who condemn others, and ridicule them for the path that they have chosen for themselves to follow. 74. And if a man feeleth that he is condemned by another, he will have no cause to want to know the judgment by which he is condemned, and will shun him who condemneth this man. 75. But if this same man seeth that another rejoiceth in that which he hath received from God, then this man shall not feel condemned, but he shall want to experience that which he seeth in which another rejoiceth. 76. And if ye of the latter days, who are the elect, have the Spirit of God, ye shall be happy and full of joy all the days of your lives, for there shall be no reason that ye should be miserable. 77. For misery cometh of the plan of Lucifer, but hath no part of the plan of the Father. 
Therefore I say unto you, Rejoice in these things, and share your rejoicing with the world, that they, by your example, might glorify your Father in heaven, because of that which he hath given unto you that causeth your rejoicing. End of chapter 74